my medical school, come third year, you write a 10,000 word dissertation to get an additional degree. After months of writing, I'm finally at the finish line and approaching the dreaded submission day. I feel like a lot of medical students like boasting about how difficult medical school could be. Not that it was easy, but this has definitely been my favorite part of med school yet. I got to explore anesthesiology, independently handle clinical data and have complete control of my work schedule. It gave me the opportunity to achieve a work-life balance. I got to work when I felt motivated and when I didn't, I'd hit up the gym, visit my friends, or just watch TV. Pretty sure I got through around four TV shows throughout these three months. In this video, I'll be showing you what it was like the week leading up to the submission date. Something else exciting that I've got going on today is that I organized and I'm hosting a lecture with Professor David Nutt. He is a leading psychiatrist. He was actually in the Times as the top 100 um, leading British figures in science. We're gonna be talking about whether MDMA and psychedelics could potentially be used as psychiatric interventions in the future. That's gonna be very interesting. So hoping to be productive today and get a lot done. My main task for today is to submit my first draft to my supervisor. Now please don't stress out by the fact that I'm doing this only one week before the submission date. This project is super short so there isn't much time to make several drafts. Hi everyone! Um, so as you can see I'm in the kitchen because I'm currently making dinner. I'm going to make really nice like crispy chicken burgers. Oh I love them. Good morning everyone, um, today is Tuesday and hopefully the vlog today should be way more consistent than it was yesterday. Yesterday was such a jam packed day that um, it was so difficult to vlog all of it. First I need to do some unboxing of some packages that arrived which will be very excited and I'll show you um, what I received in the post today. And then I'm going to be working on my post presentation which we have to do as part of our dissertation, it's worth like... Um, a third of our dissertation, so it's quite an important post presentation. Um, but first, it's time to get breakfast. I have to admit, I did gift myself to a little like loungewear suit from NAKD. On my friend list video, some of you may have seen that I got this really nice gray loungewear set. I'll insert a video here. It has just been so nice to wear it to work from home. So I ordered a different set, but in like a, this nice like beige. So I'm gonna try it on and we'll see what we think. Okay, so I've just tried on the top. It it's nice, but why is it sparkly? Love the shape. Why is it so sparkly? It really doesn't need to be. Oh, I love the shape though. It's really flattering. Mm. So luckily I got paired with an absolute superstar of a supervisor and literally the next day she'd already gotten back to me with some feedback. So right now I have my dissertation on one side of the screen and her feedback on the other. I'm quite sensitive, so some of her comments got to me, especially one that said no underlined in bold, followed by like five exclamation marks. I'm gonna keep working on it, keep rereading it, trying to find ways to edit it and improve it, even if it is minor word changes to improve how concise it is, improve the legibility. Yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. Good 
Good morning everyone. I just finished having breakfast. Now I'm going to work on my poster presentation, which is due next week, but I have like a little mock presentation to give on Friday. So I want to kind of use the poster I had on giving in to give my presentation so I can get feedback on it, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna get back to editing my first draft of my dissertation. Ooh, this is where we are so far. Honestly, it's actually really helpful doing the whole YouTube thing because I feel like it makes you kind of train yourself on what's like a good colour palette, what's a good design. Obviously, you can see there's quite a lot of writing, so I think the next step is going to be to make it all way more concise. I stopped vlogging over the next couple of days because I was doing the same routine and honestly, I didn't want to bore you. Now that I only had a few days to the deadline, my days consisted of waking up, making breakfast, studying, dinner, TV and sleep. It was dull and I did start to get fatigued towards the end, but I had to try and give this project my absolute all. I was finally ready to submit my dissertation. I can't believe this chapter of my medical school journey has come to an end. In six months, I'll finally be able to include the word beamhead sigh after my name when I send out emails. I am so happy it's completed. That being said, I did really enjoy the process. I remember in first year when we had our very first lecture in medical school where they were like outlining the curriculum and everything and they said to us, um, we're unlike other medical schools, instead of taking a year out to interclate, you do it in three months in a semester. I was like, surely that's not real, like three months to write 10,000 words to do a whole dissertation that takes everyone else a year? like. Is that a joke? It sounded impossible to me. Like I really thought it was gonna be breakdown after breakdown. I was gonna be burnt out. Two years later, I've done it. And I actually really enjoyed the whole process. I really like the work-life balance doing a dissertation provided me with. For example, because I didn't have scheduled lessons and it was really up to me when to work and how I worked, I really felt like I was able to fit in anything that I wanted to. So if I wasn't feeling motivated, I could just choose to do other activities and then save when I did feel motivated to work. Also, I got to explore the fantastic field of anesthesiology thanks to my wonderfully supportive supervisor. She was really great. She was so enthusiastic about giving me observational experience in anesthesiology. And I think all of this has taught me a really valuable life lesson because now I'm about to start my clinical placement and the thought of that terrifies me. You're in the hospital nine to five, but then you have to come home and learn the curriculum. Placement doesn't actually help you learn anything. It doesn't teach you the drug treatments. It doesn't teach you the symptoms, the anatomy. And for me, that feels like I'm gonna be juggling two very difficult, very stressful full-time activities. But I think what this whole process has taught me is that even if things seem really daunting, when you get there, it will probably be doable. I hope that it helps some of you guys if you guys are feeling apprehensive about any like journey or next stage of your life that you're about to embark on. Anyway, now in the meantime, it is time to continue celebrating the end of this whole dissertation project. Time, my baby, you on my mind, and I don't know why, but the feeling is fine. Can't you see, honey, you are for me, oh, we 